Hey guys, what's up, Taurus? Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for the month of December 2020. We're going to break it down week by week and see two situations for that week, for each week. So let's get it. Taurus, December 2020, week by week, two situations for each week. You can just kind of a heads up, try to avoid uh, any toxicity, that type of thing. Um, do keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So flip it as you need to. Um, also keep in mind this is a general reading, so take what's yours and leave the rest behind. All right, Taurus, December 2020. Also, if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, you can find that information below. Oh, shit. Um, all right, Taurus. Thank you so much to those of you who have subscribed and watched my channel daily for the immediate future. Uh, if this is your first time, hey. <laughs> And make sure you check out those um, daily videos. It just does hit home with you. Ooh, also cards. All right. Taurus, December 2020, week by week. What is coming up for Taurus? December 2020. You know, ooh. You could, damn. You could be cutting someone out so cold. Like, literally leaving them straight outside. All right. Let's see what's going on. December 2021st, Taurus, as a collective. Week by week, show me two situations for each week, please, for the month of December for Taurus. All right. We got Aries energy. Aquarius, it doesn't have to be any of those. Wow, that's how that looks really good, actually. All right, Taurus, December 2020 for Taurus, please. There's your energy, could be dealing with another earth sign, does not have to be. You have some really powerful cards this month. I'm interested to see a lot of major arcana. I'm interested to see how this goes because. You actually have some really great cards. Um, tower at the bottom, so it's probably time for a change. Probably time for something, you know, to happen here. All right, overall energy for the month of December for Taurus. What is the overall energy for December for Taurus? Please, one card. December 2020, the Four of Pentacles. All right, with the Wheel of Fortune. So this is destined, this is fated, this is the wheel turning in your favor. All right, not letting go of something. All right, so all right, let's get these numbers broke down. We have, bring it down to a two. Yeah, a two. Decisions, choices. Excuse me. Alright, December 2020. Your cards actually look really good. <laughs> you have um, two wish fulfillment cards here. Um, you have cancer energy here as well. Definitely going to be traveling, moving forward, hanging out. Um, let's see how this is going though. Because you have both of the wish fulfillment cards. Alright, there's our four of pentacles. Mm. Alright, Taurus. Yeah, it really feels like you're leaving something behind this month. And it, it's like bringing some type of nice change for you. Is what it, it seems like. Possibly you're breaking old patterns here. All right. December 2020 for Taurus. 
that clarity is coming. That happiness is coming. There is a lot of love around you. All right, let's get it to it. Show me this emperor for the first week of December for Taurus. This could be an Aries that you're dealing with. Um, doesn't have to be. This person seems kind of pissed, actually. Um, the Four of Swords, it's like this person is wanting to do whatever they have to do to come towards their wish fulfillment, which is you. Um, there could have been some regret. Someone could, you know, you're walking away towards something here. Or someone is, and it's, I don't know, this emperor kind of seems with the five of swords, like, controlling. Maybe has to have his way. It could just be a very determined energy. Show me this five of swords. The five of swords can be lying. Show me this five of swords, please. The queen of wands. You may have multiple offers here. Yeah, this person is just blow up determined to get some type of happiness with you um something something long term here could be a Sagittarius but it's like it almost seems like there was an ending right before this like maybe the last month uh or the last week of what month uh blah, 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 November so, yeah, somebody is manifesting this, and this, like, this emperor is going to go nonstop, because uh, you could have ghosted this person. You could have left them out in the cold. This could have been, like, a, a Capricorn, or it could have been, you know, a toxic situation here. This person almost seems like um, the type of person, we have two lie cards, so probably a liar, it's probably somebody who cross watchers i'm sorry but somebody who likes control this person likes their way and then when things don't go their way um they can kind of get it seems like probably angry i mean but they may completely close off when this happens so you definitely could be ghosting something the lovers could be a gemini involved as well but you're going towards something that makes you really happy. So I think like you left somebody behind and you're going towards a new connection that's pissing someone off. Show me this King of Pentacles, please. The Nine of Wands. This could be your energy. You could be dealing with another Earth sign. Show me this Nine of Wands. So we have two nines here with the Hierophant. This could be your energy. This is a stressful time. Um, there's like a lot of people around, or more than two, around this damn victory. Um, the Nine of Wands is all about, he's like the wounded warrior, right? Tired, wore out. Um, like so freaking stretched, trying to keep going. I don't know if this is you or the other person. Because someone is going towards, like, another situation here. You definitely could be dealing with an Aries, but somebody is feeling, like, ghosted here. Or you could be ghosting someone. I feel like there's some, uh, for some of you guys, there's going to be some truths coming out. The Empress, the Ace of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. You may be finding out something about someone. That someone could be married. But you're wore out. Like on the flip side, I don't know where if this person is going off towards another commitment here. Or this could be you like standing your ground and manifesting your emperor. But this king over here is what uh, worried, stressing, wore out. Uh, and feeling left out in the cold, left out of this connection. I don't know if that's you or them. We have Taurus over here twice, so this could be you. We have Aries over here. Could be three times. So you could be dealing with the Aries. 
if that's the case, then this Aries is kind of going after what they want, and this Taurus is wore out. Doesn't have to be obviously Aries and Taurus. Give me one more card for this first week. Yeah, someone's coming forward with some type of offer. They're they're manifesting some type of connection. You could have multiple people um, with the Queen of Wands there that are that are after you here. But this Emperor is a powerful manifester, right? And he's going after what he wants. But you could be leaving that out in the cold. Interesting. King and Queen of Pentacles uh, at the bottom of the deck. It's like things are on chill mode. There's no movement here. Kind of a withdrawn energy. Possibly like not speaking, just wanting to heal, wanting peace. Show me this Nine of Cups for Taurus for the second week. Ooh, you got the Nine and the Ten of Cups. There's that Nine of Cups. Somebody had walked away from you and they're regretting that decision. Um, this is this person could be Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This is you, they could be younger than you. This is you moving forward um, towards your wish fulfillment, towards your uh your happiness, your emotional fulfillment. So I think up here, this is a situation like you've you've dealt with this person for a while. And they want to manifest something back strong with you. But you're just like wore out from keep trying and keep going through the same battle and doing all this stressing and never getting anywhere. So I think this is you leaving this person behind. You could be going towards another connection here and that's what's pissing this person off. Because for your second week, we have the Knight of Cups. We have somebody coming towards you with some type of offer. Um, that just makes you freaking melt here. It's your nine and ten of cups. It's your wish and emotional fulfillment. This is you going towards, um, you know, something you've been waiting for for a long time. A solid offer. This mutual love. Show me this magician for Taurus for the second week of um, December. One more card, please. Okay, and while you're manifesting and you're happy, this person is like on the flip side, really trying to hold back. Could be a Leo. Um, they're broken heart here. This person is like shell shocked. You left somebody. This isn't you getting ghosted. You left somebody, and this person don't know what to do. They're trying their damnedest to hold back their emotions. Yeah, the four pinnacles in the world. They don't want to let this go. They're holding back with their emotions. Um, but they, they just want so bad to communicate with you. Somebody could have betrayed you um, before this. See, we have the Ten of Swords with the Seven of Swords around this Emperor. It could have been a Capricorn, but this is your ex. This is somebody with egotistical control type things. This is the same Emperor from this first week. And you're moving towards your happiness. You done cut them off. You ghosted them. And they don't know how to handle this. Um, you know, it's a general reading, but for some of you, like, this person doesn't know how to, like, let go of this control, how to let go of you. It could have been a codependent relationship, even if it did not seem like it was. So you're moving forward here happy. And this person, I don't know, I kind of get the the impression here. Yeah, see, you went through like a rebirth. The same King of Pentacles that was here when you're ghosting something this first week. You're happy. But this person, they may try to like step on your toes of your happiness. They're holding back with their emotions. But I'm not getting this magician as like a creator. You know, somebody trying to manifest. I'm getting this as... Shit, I mean, it could go deeper than that. Like, uh, definitely controlling, manipulative, um, other world type shit.
So don't let anyone manipulate you, especially with your emotions there. Cause I'm gonna, cause you're happy as hell. You're happy as fuck. And this person's just mad because you ghosted them. Show me the star. Interesting, interesting. I hope I'm I'm not um losing anybody. I'm hoping I'm making this clear. I think you're making this decision to go something because you're just tired and tired and tired of going through the same cycle. Show me the star, please. For the third week of December for Taurus. You're healing. You're chilling. Somebody has done walked away, right? This person could be contemplating, but they walked away. And once again, from the same week, I can't put these cards back in place. They're just there. I don't think you ever take this person back. I think you're moving forward with something else. Show me this. Uh, four of swords. I think you're just wanting your peace here. Yeah, this person is contemplating. But you haven't spoke to them. You're not speaking to them again. So, um, they're contemplating how to start something new. How to rebuild this. How to get the trust back. You are on this person's mind like crazy here. They want a reconciliation. They're at a distance from you. They're keeping a lot to themselves here. Going within, trying to figure this out. Show me this three of cups for Taurus for the third week of December. Three of cups, too many. Sagittarius energy though. All right, you have the Nine of Cups again, which you had the previous week with fulfillment. So it's looking like there's communication. It could be a Virgo. It could be from someone online as well. But it's like you know your past here. Um, let me see. Show me this, Vir uh, this Hermit, though. Let me see if this is moving. Because it's like somebody trying to find their path. The Hermit can be like kind of just... You know, you could be around a lot of family and friends and you just want to like kind of tend to that, be with that. We do have a lot of holidays coming up. So, um, I feel like this part, uh, show me this hermit. Or Taurus for the third. No, one card. Show me this hermit for Taurus for the third week. Yeah, see? Queen of Pentacles, your energy, you're moving forward towards something new, towards mutual love here. It's like you know your path and you're determined going straight for that. You don't want this uh, this this headache anymore. I don't know if this is the same person, but there's a choice in front of you to move forward. There is like communication that kind of comes out of the blue, and you may need to go within to make that decision. There may be an offer here this week that you can't trust. That's not for everybody, but um, I feel like this person will try to. Um, I'm sorry, cross watch. I'm probably get a, gonna get pissed off, but they're gonna try to like man, kind of manipulate a situation here, especially when you don't pay them any mind. There's a decision that somebody is going within trying to make here. There could be an offer from a Pisces or something that you're not seeing that's at a distance, whether this is on your side or their side. But we do have you moving forward here. You may have a decision to make. Show me this page of Pentacles for Taurus for the last week of December. This can be about communication. Yeah, there's some type of communication here that makes you extremely happy. The Nine of Pentacles. This could have to do with your money. Um, you knowing your worth here. The Nine of Pentacles is um, focusing on yourself, knowing your self-worth, your self-love. I feel like you're looking really good. You're moving. There's the star again, right? 
So there's an opportunity possibly to move, um, to travel. You're moving towards these calmer times. And it's like whatever this is, this person, this opportunity knows your worth. You're rebuilding something. And um, ooh, you maybe end up rebuilding with this emperor. This could be hidden from you right now. It could be a Pisces. We have the three and the four of wands. So there's progression here. There are things building. It's like possibly the sun is shining and, you know, there's, there's like a wish fulfillment, an opportunity to move, to grow. To smooth shit out here that really makes you happy. There's some type of growth and a connection here. This could be a you know a new person. I don't know, but things are coming up. Show me this chariot. Some of you guys could definitely be moving. Could be buying a car. There's some clarity coming here. It's like you get the clarity that you need. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini with that Queen of Swords. Oh boy. Yeah. Somebody could have been watching you, right? But you're extremely successful. I think you got two people going on here. Even if you're like, what? No, I don't. You could. Um, especially this third week. We have the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Nine of Cups. And we have you having a decision here. So this could happen because the moon is here. So this could be something that you're not seeing right now. You know, that may not make sense at the time that you're watching this video. But anyways, there's some crazy shit over here. The Queen of Swords could be a cancer that you're dealing with with the chariot. But you're moving forward. You're so damn determined for your success, um, for your victory. You're very strategic here. You're cutting something out. This Queen of Swords, you're raising that sword. It's like somebody was maybe uh, ego, cocky, lying to you. But I really feel like, like you know what you're doing. You know how to get on the path to your success. And like nothing is shaking you up here. You could be seen in the public eye uh, throughout all this with the star and the six of wands. But... You're cutting this shit out. You're like, no freaking more because there's an emperor coming at you that you're not seeing that's like a wish. And this person knows your worth. This could this this person makes you very happy. There's like good communication. You feel like this person understands you. They could be at a distance from you right now, but this could go like with the four of wands. Um, this could go like as far as moving in together. I'm not joking, especially because the night the week before. This could be dating, right? But the Knight of Swords, it's like you just rush into something here and completely cut off this bullshit. You know the direction that you're going. You're incredibly successful. You know what you want and you're going after it. So it's crazy. Like over here, we have like all these wishes and, and stuff. There's a, there's a direction that you're moving that I don't think um, you're going to love it, but there's going to be somebody who doesn't love it, like, on opposite sides of this. Interesting, interesting. I hope I wasn't um, too all over the place because this shit is crazy. There's something big coming for you this, this month, and it's destined for you. The will is turning in your favor. There could be something extremely brand new. And it almost seems like it happens um, the second week. Not so much the third week. Because you have a night coming towards you that just freaking lights up your day. And it may be happening, you know, even into the end of November. And have been happening... Um, before this month even starts. And that's why this, this emperor is kind of pissed up here. Because you're knowing your worth for standing your ground. There could be another commitment. Because you're ghosting something over here. You're just stuck. You're like there's nothing more I can do with this situation. If this is someone new. You guys could literally be moving into each other. Like moving. Or even if it isn't someone new, 
this uh, last week of December, some of you guys could be moving into a new house. That could be what's really making you happy here. Uh, nonetheless, you're, um, you're ending some shit. But, all right, advice for Taurus for December. Some of you guys can meet someone new and be living together, like, immediately with this Knight of Swords, like, really rushing into it, making that decision, choosing that path. And some of you can meet someone and, like, it gives them something stable or living together. Or this is also a marriage twin flame card, like, as soon as uh, March. I think you're going to meet, like, that's going to take off pretty quick. All right, advice for Taurus for the last week of December, please. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And I think that's exactly what you're doing. And it may start before December. If not, it's definitely this first week. You're just like, screw it all. I'm tired of going through this. I'm tired of being breadcrumbed. tired of feeling left behind type of thing anything else for Taurus for the month of December something flipped healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents and you also got it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all and it looks like the second week you really fall into your heart space and then it kind of just takes off from there getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon and that's like damn near the beginning of the month you're a straight ghost in something you're leaving something behind. And it's not even because you don't want to. I mean, because, you know, it's just you've been through so much with this. You've put in so much worry, so much energy, and, and you just keep feeling stuck. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And you've got a few moments to that you'll really, really enjoy. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, okay? So like engagement flipped out. Deception. Let your friends help you. All right. But you already knew there was deception. That's why you're cutting this shit out. You're not interested in a jump. All right, Taurus, hope this helps. If so, make sure you like and subscribe below. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. All right. Um.